So with the next patch, which will arrive this next week, today's date being the 20th of June, so some viewers watching this post-upload day will have this patch already and the contents of this video will count for you right now. If you are watching this before the 1.5 Outriders patch, two legendary loot drops and the dupe protection feature, well this is what you can look forward to. Today we discuss this new patch and some of the implementations that will come into effect and yeah although the title states how you can get and farm certain legendaries or buff that chance, this is what we do indeed talk about today and although the method would in fact work, it is a questionable one, but it is a method a people can fly dev actually suggested. Now how you take this is up to you, but I guarantee for many of you it's going to be a thought process of what the heck did he really just say that? Today we get into this. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So with the latest Outriders 1.5 patch we are getting some decent changes to the game in regards to loot, how it works, how they drop, putting certain features in place which supposedly help us get that loot we need. Okay so from the patch notes the important information within the new patch which is important for today's video is obviously the legendary drop rate buff by 100% but also the anti dupe system. It states this system will mean that if a character has an item in their inventory or stash a duplicate item is rolled. The item will be rolled once. Note that this system does not guarantee that every drop will be unique. Rather, it is designed to provide a second role at avoiding a duplicate. So what this basically means is, let's say you have a death shield on your character. Either you are using it or it's in your inventory or even your stash. If you complete an expedition and you get a death shield to drop, that death shield will roll into another legendary because you already have the death shield. So upon it rolling from death shield to another legendary, the legendary it rolls into isn't guaranteed to be one you don't already have. Like they say, the system does not guarantee that every drop will be unique, rather it is designed to provide a second roll at avoiding a duplicate. That second roll can still be a duplicate. Now to me, this is a decent system in helping you kind of avoid duplicates, but at the end of the day, if you're after literally one single legendary to complete the collection, the point the game doesn't seek out and increase that chance of you getting that one you are missing, this system does seem a little flawed. But either way, I guess it is better than nothing and dupes are annoying most of the time. Now I say most of the time because let's say you have a death shield already but you want a better version or a higher firepower version of that said death shield. The anti dupe system could indeed make getting a better version twice as hard or in theory twice as easy or in fact guys not change anything at all when you actually think about it. Let's say you have a death shield but want a better version. If you complete an expedition and you get one, you will get one because the first Lego that dropped was another legendary you already had and because it's rerolled, that reroll can be any other legendary, including the death shield. Now if let's say the death shield is the weapon you have never had and need, I guess doing an expedition with those increased loot chances does mean that if 5 legendaries do drop for you, theoretically they will all reroll once, therefore increasing your chances of that loot you need. I guess in the way of it, working like you were earning double the loot drops because they are rerolling. So what if you have every legendary in the game but want better versions of said legendaries? Well in that case guys I don't think this new anti dupe system will help whatsoever, it will literally be a void system. But guys there is another way and while this will surprise you and this was the suggestion mentioned by a PCF dev, if you dismantle the one you want a better version of, it won't be reload if it does drop a game. Yes, think about that for a second, this is what they actually said. Now this is 100% something I do not recommend you doing, as I know for a fact some people, including myself, have farmed hundreds of hours to get a certain legendary. Dismantling it in reality won't help you get a better version either. I mean in terms of efficiency with the increased legendary drop rates, in theory it just means that it will now take you only half the time it did before. But that doesn't mean that the new one you get will be better than the one you dismantled. What I'd suggest is creating a mule character. 
basically a character you will use to bank legendaries on and put your death shield or any other legendary you want a better version of on this said bank character. Now this isn't something that they have confirmed will work, but if we look back at how the anti-dupe system does indeed work, it seems as though the system only picks up on items in your inventory or your stash, it doesn't mention anything about alt characters. Now another issue with this system is, if you've had a legendary in the past but dismantled it for its mod, this system will not count that legendary as one you have. So there is I guess an increased chance in getting that legendary too along with or even instead of the legendary you actually need and want. The only way to stop the game thinking like this is to keep at least one of every legendary in the game. Basically one of each on your character or in the already very limited stash. I mean the more I think about this anti-dupe system, the more it doesn't make sense. I do hope though they soon come with a few more answers to the many questions people have about it because it does kind of seem like a real flawed system, especially with no increased chance of getting that said legendary you need, that one you don't have already. If it worked like this it would be so much better and make so much more sense, but the fact the anti-dupe system does not work like this and does not take into account your whole stash of legendaries when it rerolls that one that you already have and until it does work like that or in that manner it's a system for most of us that won't really change much so yes guys just my thoughts on this new anti-dupe system coming with a 1.5 patch and the methods in which people can fly mention which in theory would work to help you earn your legendaries that you need or want better versions of Again though like I said it's something I wouldn't recommend you doing right now, again make a bank character if you want a better death shield, a better amber vault, don't dismantle that weapon, pull it on that bank character and see if that helps you out. But yes guys we have come to the end of the video, tell me your thoughts on this if it even makes sense to you. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one